Hi everyone, Brandon here with GDNT Basics video question line. Uh, today's topic is composite position. Um, how's the different, or how is this any different than uh, MSS? The question that we have today is from Joseph, and Joseph asked uh, or stated, "I've always entered a composite position tolerance as a multiple frame position tolerance in my CMM software. Is this not correct?" Um, it's not correct, and let's advance forward here, and I will show you why. Okay, so uh, on this slide here, the, it's the feature control frame, and we're going to look at the difference between the composite uh, feature control frame versus the multiple single segment uh, feature control frame. So on the left here, uh, on, on the frame or the feature control frame, um, there is a rule that there's only one position symbol that you see over here. Um, it spans across the bow, so I've, I've put just a few of the, the rules down here, the primary rules that we have for the two for composite and multiple single segment. Um, so that is the first one for a composite, is um, when you enter it into your CMM software, you have to select that it is composite. Um, the way that that happens in software is different from one to another, uh, but typically there's a, um, a, a, I'll call it a radio button there that you will click, um, turn it on to composite so that as you enter another frame, um, it's going to put the span or the symbol in there that spans both uh, the upper uh, and the bottom or the top and the bottom frames. On multiple single segment over here on the right, um, we have to enter it this way. Um, these are two independent, as it states in the first uh, rule here, they're two uh, independent feature control frames. Uh, if you look in the standard, they even uh, have some examples that you can find where they're shown um, to not even be together. Uh, but just out of convenience, we put them together on the drawing. Uh, but they don't have to be because they are two completely independent feature control frames. Um, back over here on the left with composite, um, we do have the top frame and the bottom frame for composite position, um, they have their own names. Um, the top one is the plats. Um, and it is pronounced plats, um, tells you in the standard how to, how to say it. Um, the bottom one is the fritz. So the, the top one being the, pat, the plats, it's the pattern locating tolerance zone framework. Uh, the bottom one, the fritz, is the feature relating tolerance zone framework. Um, all that simply means is that the top one, or the plats, is taking the pattern and locating the pattern to the datum reference frame, uh, basically to the part. Um, so it's locating it there. It's going to be a more generous one. Um, on both top frames for, for these, we have um, 0 0.8 for the top frame, 0 0.2 for the bottom frames. Uh, but when, when we're talking about uh, the composite, you can call it top and bottom frame, call it plats and fritz, um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the top frame is no different than normal position tolerancing. So none of the rules here have changed. If we just had a single frame, it would mean the exact same thing as that. And likewise over here with multiple single segment, um, this is just a normal position call out. There's nothing different uh, about the top frames here. Where it gets different on composite is the bottom frame um, refines the location and orientation of the holes only to the other holes. So it's the pattern itself. Uh, so uh, we have uh, basic dimensions that are locating um, the, the true position, which is where this composite would be placed. So we have, uh, uh, with the 0 0.8, we have this large cylindrical tolerance zone. And then on the bottom, we have the 0 0.2 cylindrical zone that is floating inside of that. Um, so uh, in this case here, on both of these, we have, um, we have A in the bottom frames. So on composite, uh, the only thing that A is doing uh, if you look down there on number three, it says, if datums are called in the fritz, it only refines the orientation to the specified datum or datums, um, because we can have B in there, we can have C in there also. Um, but it is not, it has nothing to do with the location back to the datum reference frame. So it's only the pattern itself. Um, down here on number four for composite, it states that the top frame must match the bottom frame. 
Um, and that's a composite rule. So anytime we're using composite position, if we need um, to add a second datum in there, we're wanting to lock the, um, the rotation uh, in, in regards to one of these other datums. Um, we could add B in here. So we could put B right here and that would be acceptable. Now it's gonna lock the pattern um, from rotating away from B. So it's only gonna be an orientation, it's not gonna be a location. Um, but let's say that B uh, was an axis and wouldn't stop that rotation. And then we would need our datum feature C in here. Well, this is a violation of composite uh, because it doesn't match the one directly above it. So even though B would not be used in here, B has to go in uh, and then we can come back in and add C. So it has to be a direct replacement. Now it doesn't, if you don't need those rotations locked, it doesn't mean that you have to put, if it has A, B, C in the top, you have to put A, B, and C on the bottom, only when you need those other datums to, um, to, to stop the uh, rotation or orientation of those. But it does, if we did need C, we have to include B. Uh, if we didn't need C, we could just wipe it out uh, and have B in there, and there would be nothing wrong with that. So now getting over on the multiple single or multiple single segment side, on this one um, where Joseph had said that he was entering composite as multiple single segment, um, as I stated already, the, the two frames are independent of each other, but look at rule number uh, two in here. The bottom frame now refines the location and orientation of the top frame. So it's location and orientation at this point. It's not just orientation like it was over here on composite. Um, it's also including that location. So um, now it's, it's a location refinement as well. And then number three here, it says that the bottom frame uh, can have any datums in any order, but it cannot be a repeat of the top frame. So in composite where we have to repeat the top frame, multiple single segment, we cannot re repeat that. And the reason for that is because of this first one that they state up here, uh, that they're independent. So um, if this one, if we had A, B, C on this one, well, now this would wipe out this requirement altogether uh, because it's an exact match in datums and it is doing orientation and location. Um, therefore, uh, the top one, uh, it would be redundant. It wouldn't do anything, only the bottom would. So that would wipe that one out. So we can't have an exact one down here. So what we can do is we can have the, um, we can put B in there. So we can put B right here. That would be acceptable. Um, we could also put C in here. Um, that would be acceptable. Uh, really any, any data that we had in there, if we had an F, we put an F in there. So this one does not have the same rules as composite, um, but it means something totally different. And let's let's look here on this uh, next slide here, what this means. So pulling up the, uh, the two feature control frames like we saw before, um, one really for composite and two for multiple single segment, but the same feature control frames. Over here on the left is composite. Um, we see that we have the, the green is the 0 0.8 tolerant zone. Now I'm not showing the whole zone here. I ripped some of this from our lesson uh, just to show you this. The, the green is the 0 0.8 tolerant zone for composite. Um, the 0 0.2 is the red, that's the fritz. So that's inside of here. Uh, we have two datums listed on this one. So we do have A and B at this point. And then you can see how this pattern moved down uh, it moved up, it moved over, uh, back down over here to the lower right. Notice how the, the pattern itself is, say, is staying aligned. Um, I'll say B, so we'll call uh, B out as just being down here. So this is B, so it's staying aligned to that. It's not rotating away. Um, remember that with composite, it is not in any way the, the fritz or the lower frame is not stopping it from moving. So it's still able to, to move up and down, side to side inside of this larger tolerance zone, but it can't rotate. The pattern cannot rotate. So let's look over here um, for the multiple single segment. 
So we have the same setup here where the green is the 0 0.8, and then the, uh, the lower frame is the 0 0.2. Um, right now it's sitting exactly at true position. Now the green larger ones can never move uh, because that's the top frame on these. It's, that's the stated position tolerance. That's what we, are, what we learned in the fundamentals uh, about position tolerances located at basic dimensions. They get locked, they never move. They're perfect both in orientation and location. Uh, but the red one now on the bottom, uh, take a look at what happens with uh, the multiple single segment. So it shifted straight over to the left. So if you didn't see that, it went straight to the left, straight over to the right. So it's going back and forth there. But notice uh, because we have a B in that bottom frame also, and we said that it's also controlling location, uh, this is giving what some people call like a slotted tolerance zone in that uh, it can move right to left, but it cannot move away from that basic dimension of 20. Um, so in multiple single segment, that's locking it down. So it can't even shift up. Um, remember uh, before in composite, if, if we were to come in and take this B out of here, then this pattern could rotate up as long as it stayed inside of here, it could rotate but B is stopping that. It's bringing it back down into orientation and locking it to B. Uh, remember I said that B is across here. That's, that, that's where that plane is, just like on multiple single segment here on the right. Um, over here on multiple single segment, uh, the bottom frame could just have A in there and then it would be only a refinement of orientation. So on this one, if, if we were to knock out B, do it on this one over here, now we would have the exact same requirement. Um, this is the one case when we only have the one datum on there and it's doing orientation only to the bottom and it is not doing location. Um, this is the one time that multiple single segment and composite uh, will give you the same result. This is the only time. Once we add other datums in there, they're, they are completely different. So so uh, Joe, if, you'd, if you had been doing that in the past with only a, a single datum reference in the bottom frame, um, then no harm, no foul there, you get the same result. Uh, but if there are other datums in there and you've been entering those in, then it is doing this. And this is a very tight requirement um, because if, if it was listed on the drawing as composite, um, this particular tolerance zone should be able to go anywhere inside of here, up, down, left, right, rotate around, do all of that. But the second we add in another one over here and use it as multiple single segment, as you can see here, it gets locked on the basic dimension uh, and can only move side to side. Um, and this is a good illustration to show you why if C was included in here, um, it would bring it back here. See if I can get it to come back into the middle here. It would put it back there and this would be the tolerance zone. Um, there would be no mobility anywhere. So both of these would be locked down, uh, really all the basic dimensions. They get locked down and that's why it, it would just uh, cross this one out because you would never be able to move. It would have to be locked in that, um, that lower frame requirement of 0 0.2. Okay, so in a very quick nutshell, that's the difference between the uh, composite and multiple single segment. Um, if you have not enrolled in our advanced course, uh, we go into great detail uh, uh, about both of these, much more detail than what I went into, um, and some more of the rules and stuff in there. But um, I kind of put the basic rules in there. Um, to me, if, if you know what I just showed you, um, then you know the difference between the two and definitely should be able to inspect uh, the difference of those two. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for joining. Uh, again, stay tuned for uh, more videos that we're going to have coming out. Um, you guys have a good day. Thank you.